Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I'm Manhar and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In today's video, we are going to learn the steps on how to join Windows 11 computer to Microsoft Entra ID using hybrid domain join method. If you have an on-premises Active Directory and wish to join your domain joined computer to Microsoft Entra ID, you can achieve this by performing a Microsoft Entra hybrid join. Microsoft Entra Hybrid Join is a feature that allows devices to be registered with Microsoft Entra ID while still being part of your on-premises Active Directory. The Hybrid Join devices are visible in both our on-premises Active Directory and Microsoft Entra ID, allowing us to manage them in both environments. This enables users to access both on-premises resources and cloud resources securely with a unified authentication process. This approach enables us to utilize tools like single sign-on and conditional access policy while still being able to apply GPOs and other on-premises utilities. Microsoft Entra Hybrid Join does not require a paid license. A license from Microsoft Entra ID Free is sufficient. This license is part of every Microsoft Entra tenant. Before you start configuring Microsoft Entra Hybrid Join, please make sure you have installed Microsoft Entra Connect and it is synchronizing identities from on-premises to Microsoft Entra ID. If you want to know how to install Microsoft Entra Connect step by step, please check out the last video. The link to the video is available in the description. Now, let me show you our Microsoft Entra ID tenant. We need to access and log into the Microsoft Entra Admin Center. You can access Microsoft Entra Admin Center using the URL entra.microsoft.com. For this video, we have used the Global Administrator account to log into the Microsoft Entra Admin Center. Here we can see the basic information about our Microsoft Entra ID tenant. The primary domain name is msftwebcast.in and the license type is Microsoft Entra ID Free. As you can see, Microsoft Entra Connect is enabled and the last sync occurred less than one hour ago. Let me show you the setup of our on-premises Active Directory. This is our Windows Server 2019 domain controller named ws2k19-dc01 for the msftwebcast.in domain. In the previous video, we installed the Microsoft Entra Connect tool on this domain controller to sync our on-premises identities with Microsoft Entra ID. If the computer object of the devices you want to be Microsoft Entra Hybrid Joined belong to a specific OUs, configure the correct OUs to sync in Microsoft Entra Connect. Let's verify that. Click on Tools and select Active Directory Users and Computers. In this example, we have stored the computer object in the computer's child OU which is under the India parent OU. Click on Start button and open Synchronization Service Manager. In Synchronization Service Manager, click Connectors and double-click Active Directory Connector. Go to Configure Directory Partitions, then click on Containers. This will launch a screen requesting credentials. The credentials you enter here do not need to be admin credentials. Microsoft Entra Connect just needs an account that can read Active Directory. Type Administrator as an username and then enter Administrator's password. Once the credentials are entered, click OK. This will bring up the Select Containers screen where you can pick which OUs you want to be include or exclude. Only objects under those selected OUs will be synchronized to Microsoft Entra ID. We can verify that the computer's OU is currently syncing with Microsoft Entra ID. Close Synchronization Service Manager. Click OK. Click OK. On Warning page, again click OK. Let's close Synchronization Service Manager. In the next step, let's configure Microsoft Entra Hybrid Join. To perform these steps, you must have access to both an on-premises administrator and a Microsoft Entra Global Administrator or Hybrid Identity Administrator. First, let's open up Microsoft Entra Connect tool. Double-click on Azure AD Connect shortcut icon on desktop to open up Microsoft Entra Connect tool. Remember, Microsoft has renamed Azure AD Connect to Microsoft Entra Connect. Still, we are seeing the old name Azure AD Connect. So, might be in a future, instead of Azure AD Connect, you will see Microsoft Entra Connect only. 
Once Microsoft Entra Connect Sync is open, click on Configure. We will see a complete list of options we can configure. The one we are looking for is Configure Device Options. Click on Configure Device Options and click Next. Here we can read over information about hybrid Microsoft Entra ID join and device right back. Click Next to continue. We will now be prompted to enter the credentials of an hybrid identity administrator or global administrator for our Microsoft Entra tenant. Click Next. Click on Existing User Account. Tap the user's password and click on Sign In. You may be asked to confirm your identity through multi-factor authentication if it's configured for your Microsoft Entra account. Now select the device option which you want to configure. In our case, we simply need to click Next as Configure Hybrid Microsoft Entra ID Join option is already selected. On this page, we will select what types of devices we intend to join. For this video, we are only going to be onboarding Windows 10 or later domain joined devices. Select Windows 10 or later domain joined devices. If you have older Windows client computers in your active directory, then also choose supported Windows down level domain joined devices option. Click next to continue. We will now create the service connection point in Microsoft Entra to allow our devices to read Microsoft Entra ID tenant information. Check our forest name under forest. In our case, it is msftwebcast.in. Under authentication service, select Microsoft Entra ID and click add. On the credentials prompt, type on premises enterprise admin credentials and click OK. Let's type the username and password. Click OK. The user to be specified here for the SCP configuration must be a member of the enterprise administrators group. These permissions can be revoked after successful SCP configuration. For each forest where you want Microsoft Entra Connect to configure a service connection point, complete these tabs and then select Next. Click on Configure to start the process. Everything should only take a few seconds. Microsoft Entra Connect is now prepared for Microsoft Entra Hybrid Join. When complete, we'll be told to configure some additional steps. Click on Exit to close the wizard. In the next step, initiate a sync cycle in Microsoft Entra Connect. This is the last step where we will synchronize the on-premises Active Directory computer object to Microsoft Entra ID. We can either run Delta Sync or Initial Full Sync. Click on Start menu and select Windows PowerShell Admin. For Delta Sync, type command start hyphen ad sync sync cycle hyphen policy type delta. We will run Full Sync for quick result. For that, we need to type command start hyphen ad sync sync cycle hyphen policy type initial. Press enter to execute the command. Command executed successfully. We want to confirm the current Microsoft Entra ID join status on our Windows 11 computer. Let's go to our Windows 11 computer. I'm using the user account of Isalcadia to log into this domain join Windows 11 computer. Open run menu, type cmd and hit enter key. Type command dsreg cmd slash status and hit enter key. Look for device status section. As I already told you that Microsoft has renamed Azure AD to Microsoft Entra ID. But at some places we are still seeing the old name Azure AD instead of Microsoft Entra ID. But might be in the future Microsoft will remove Azure AD completely and just put Microsoft Entra ID. It shows no because this device is not yet Microsoft Entra hybrid join. To confirm Windows 11 device registration, we need to reboot them first. Let's restart this Windows 11 device. Let's close command prompt and let's reboot this Windows 11 device. After the reboot, let's sign into this Windows 11 computer. We are going to use the user account of Isalcadia to sign into this domain joined Windows 11 computer. Again open command prompt. Type dsrx cmd slash status and hit enter key. Again look for device status section. As you can see the device shows as domain join and as already joined. This indicates the device is hybrid Microsoft Entra joined. If the device doesn't show as as already joined yet, might be because the computer object hasn't been synced to Microsoft Entra ID yet. You need to wait little longer to complete the sync process. 
Once you have confirmed that the Windows 11 client shows it's joined, be sure to check the Microsoft Entra Admin Center as well. Go back to Microsoft Entra Admin Center. Expand Devices and click on All Devices. Here we can see that the join type is listed as Microsoft Entra Hybrid Join for the Windows 11 device with the host name Win11-VM11. At this point, we can begin using the various services Microsoft Entra has to offer to manage all of our domain joint devices in Microsoft Entra Admin Center. Now we can manage our domain joint devices in both our on-premises Active Directory and Microsoft Entra ID. In this video, we'll learn what is Microsoft Entra Hybrid Join device and how to configure Microsoft Entra Hybrid Join. Don't forget to check out my other videos on Microsoft Entra Registered Devices and Microsoft Entra Joint Devices. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or need further clarification, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Entra ID and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.